Its screen uses light to create all the different colors that we see on it. Let's take a look with a microscope. Right now I've got a white screen up, and when we take a look at it under the microscope, You may have learned in art class that the primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. That's true for paint and similar things you might use for art. You can mix different combinations of these colors and get any other color of paint that you want. But if you're talking about light, the primary colors are red, blue, and green. We call these the primary colors of light because our brains can interpret different combinations of these colors of light as all of the other colors of light. It's very useful that we can use these three primary colors of light to make all the other colors of light. Let's take a look at this tablet. Its screen uses light to create all the different colors that we see on it. Let's take a look with a microscope. Right now I've got a white screen up, and when we take a look at it under the microscope, we can see that its screen is actually made up of tiny dots of red, blue, and green light. Our brains interpret red plus blue plus green light as white light. Let's look at a few other colors. If I switch the screen to red, then only the red lights are on. If I switch it to yellow, we see that the red and green lights are on. In this situation, red light plus green light is interpreted at, by our brains as yellow light. If I go just a little darker and go to orange, we'll see the same combination, but the green lights are much dimmer this time. By turning these tiny red, blue, and green lights up and down in different areas, the tablet screen can display images in a wide variety of colors.